Okay, this was question number 11. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala attribute Al Mu'iz? Al Mu'iz mean? And it means it's the one who gives honor. Okay, so that was the answer to that one. And there's an ayah in the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about his action of giving honor. Awwab billah min shaykhun rajim. Qul, say, i.e. commanding the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma malik al-mulk That Allah is the Lord over all authorities Tu'til mulka You will give authority Man tasha To whomever you want Wa tanzi'ul mulka Min man tasha And tanzi' means to take away Literally even by force Because naza'a literally means to yank something And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who would take away Even if the other person doesn't want to give it away um, And remove it from whom you please Wa tu'izzu And that's where the word comes from Tu'izzu and you honor man tasha whomever you want wa tuzillu and you disgrace whomever you want bi yadikal khair indeed in your hands is good innaka ala kulli shay qadeer you are the most capable for doing everything so just a point of note that the word al muiz um, there is a hadith which is and the section of the hadith which is muttafaqun alayh that is agreed upon by bukhari and muslim is in allah Inna lillahi, indeed for Allah, tis'atan wa tis'ina ismin. Allah has 99 names. Mi'atan illa wahida, a hundred less minus one. Man ahsaha, whoever enumerates them, dakhal jannah will enter paradise. Ayyum, whoever understands them and leads his life by them, then he will uh, enter paradise. Of course, the word al muiz in one of the narrations of this hadith, there is a list of the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in one of them comes the term Mu'iz but that hadith that section of that hadith is da'if so there is a there is um, a, a, a scholarly dispute as to what actually are the 99 names but this is just to make you aware of this assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah